So in the demo you just saw from Jeff and Caroline, they were using NI Compact DAC, a member of our family of USB data acquisition devices. With over 20 years in the market, National Instruments continues to be a leader in PC data acquisition, which today is one of the most ubiquitous forms of instrumentation available. In fact, this decade alone, National Instruments has shipped over one million PC data acquisition devices. But we're not resting on our laurels. We continue to look for new technology that will improve ease of use and performance. And to tell us about an exciting new family of data acquisition products, please welcome R&D Group Manager Daniel Domine and Product Manager Sam Freed. Thank you, John. M-Series is our best multifunction DAC family to date with high absolute accuracy and STC2 technology for timing and synchronization. But see, best in engineering really isn't a statement, it's more like a challenge. And we decided to meet that challenge and really take multifunction DAC to the next level. So our engineers went back and improved every single component, the I.O., the timing capabilities, and the bus interface. We've incorporated these advancements into a new family of devices. Today, we're proud to announce X-Series Multifunction DAC. We're releasing... <laughs> we're releasing 16 new devices for PCI Express and PXI Express. These devices include analog, digital, and counter circuitry for the most common measurement and control applications, and they're available immediately starting at $4.99. Sounds great, Sam. Now I'm checking out your demo setup here, and I see a laser, and I see Mr. Potato Head. What, what do you got for us? Well, John, to really put X-Series through its paces, we created an application that goes way beyond basic analog inputs. We're going to perform a 3D scan of an object and bring it into LabVIEW. We've mounted Mr. Potato Head on a rotating platter, and next to him we have a precise laser distance sensor from MTI Instruments mounted on a linear actuator. As the platter rotates, we measure its angle with an encoder, and every time we reach 360 degrees, we move the laser up to scan multiple planes. This is a complex application with many elements to measure and control, as you can see. In fact, we need four counter timers to interface with the scanner system. So while I get this started, Daniel, can you tell everyone about the counters and other new X-Series features? Absolutely. That's why I woke up early this morning. All right. We have our fantastic analog input, and we added our new NISTC3 technology. We have four counters per device with buffered counter output and single counter finite, 100 megahertz time base and retriggering on every subsystem. Digital now has their own timing engines and analog triggers, and you can filter pretty much any digital signal you could possibly want. We revamped our streaming architecture from the ground up to give us our best performance yet, especially in real time. We have a native PCI Express interface that gives us over 200 megabytes per second in each direction. <laughs> the bottom line is we have created a family of devices that will change the way you solve problems. This same application would have taken three M series, but a single X series is doing just fine. For the DAC team, X series is the definition of doing more. And Mr. Potato Head agrees, and he can't help but smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds like some exciting technology. A pretty elaborate uh, demonstration, so I imagine you're using one of our higher-end X-Series devices. How much would this particular board cost? Well, in industry, a 3D scanner for automated inspection could cost tens of thousands of dollars. We're able to do all of this with one X-Series device, and this one was only $599. But with six, 16 new devices releasing, we are able to include higher performance options as well. And so we're happy to include simultaneous sampling options within the X-Series family. These devices include up to 16 analog inputs per device that sample at up to two mega samples per second per channel. And they use ADCs provided by our friends at Texas Instruments. And thanks to PCI Express bandwidth, you can now load up an entire PXI Express chassis with these devices and stream data without a problem. Well, guys, sounds like with the X-Series, we're getting more performance, more functionality, more flexibility, all at a low cost. X-Series sounds like a winner. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Daniel. Thank you.